Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. This is an excerpt of a recent power-up webinar looking at advanced audio inside Final Cut Pro 10. In this excerpt, I'll show you how to edit audio at the sub-frame level. If you notice up here, see that light gray region? That light gray region right where the playhead is located represents the amount of distance that's covered by one frame. In this case, this is a 30th of a second NTSC video. So that's the distance a 30th of a second is. Type Command Plus. This is still one frame. Command Plus. I'm still in one frame. I'm able to get really, really inside a frame. It's called subframe editing. So I'm going to just move over to here. And let's see, where did it go? Minus, 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 minus. There it is, right there. Plus, plus, command plus, command plus. Let's pretend. Let's pretend that this spike right here is a pop or a click. It's actually wider than that. So I'm going to hold the. I'm going to select the arrow tool, keyboard shortcuts, the letter A. Hold the Option key down. Hold the Option key down, and whenever I Option click on the volume line, I set keyframes. Option click, and then Option click a third keyframe. What I'm able to do is I'm able to do audio editing at the subframe level inside the frame. In fact, if you hold the command key down and type command left arrow, you move in 1 80th of a frame increments. Command right arrow, 1 80th of a frame increments. In fact, I can zoom in some more. But I can get in here and do very precise audio cleanup if, for instance, I had a, a pop right here. I could drag those keyframes around and clean up that pop completely. We can even display the distance in subframes. If we go up to Final Cut Pro, go down to Preferences, notice here it says our time display is in hours, minutes, seconds, and frames. We can do hours, minutes, seconds, and frames in subframes. When I close this now, there's my, there's my uh, seconds, there's my frames, there's my subframe. And let me just hold the Command key. I'm moving one subframe at a time. And I'll just go back and prove that's gone. 72421. Preferences, editing, go back to time code, close this. There it is, 724, but we don't see the subframe display. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar, taking a look at advanced audio inside Final Cut Pro 10. If you need to stretch your training dollars, a subscription membership to our video training library saves you a lot of money. Access all of our training videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. More than 500 movies, dozens of hours of training, all in-depth and all up-to-date. Plus, members can attend any of our Power Up webinars for free. Our training covers both Apple and Adobe software. We update it every week. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.biz slash subscriptions. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at LarryJordan.biz slash store. And look for Webinar 97.